Well, hello. My name is Stacy Skidgel, and I am a sales director with Mary Kay. Um, I have been running my Mary Kay business for 16 years, and I absolutely love it. Um, I look a little scary today, right? Um, oh my goodness, I'm completely naked, no makeup on. Um, but I thought I would take you through a, a um, general makeup routine and what do I do on a daily basis. Um, now keep in mind, I do a bunch of extra steps. I've been doing this a long time and I've gotten a lot of practice. Um, my makeup usually is way quicker when I'm not talking to you, so it doesn't normally take me this long, but today's gonna be a good video. Um, I'm just gonna take you through what I do from top to bottom. So here we go, ready? I'm gonna start with, well first of all, I did wash my face this morning. I do have a great moisturizer and a lifting serum on. Um, and an eye cream as well. Um, I am going to do an extra step with my eye cream because you can see I have some darkness, some, yeah, some fun. We got some stress going on right now, don't we, ladies? Um, this coronavirus, oh my goodness, right? Um, I started with eye primer, put it on my ring fingers. I'm going to tap it down here all the way up to my eyebrows. I absolutely love eye primer. What does it do? It helps to create a blank canvas. It also does, um, keeps your makeup on longer, make, makes your makeup true to color. It is a beautiful little tool. It just kind of makes your eyelids sticky so that your makeup will adhere a little bit better. Um, our makeup though, our eye, eyeshadows are 12 hour wears. They're wonderful. No worries about them going anywhere, but the primer does just help it be true to color. So, it takes you less makeup, you have less makeup you have to use. It um, goes on the actual color that you want it to be, and um, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, beautiful. All right, the first color that I started with is a real light white. It's a moonstone, it's a little bit shimmery. It is a really good way to start off to have a blank canvas. So I always start off with a base color that is pretty light, which is important because my skin is very pale. Um, and I go lids to, la to eyebrows because I want, the, again, a blank canvas. It's easier to start with a blank canvas and then fill in where you want. I am also gonna pull up this mirror occasionally because I am blind and that little tiny camera in my phone is uh, far away, so bear with me. All right. Okay. All right, so we've got the first color on. It's just, again, just a base coat. We do have a weird lighting. A base coat, so it's just gonna neutralize the my lids, make everything look flat in one color and a little shimmery. Um, I do then go next to a, if I can find the right brush, to a burnished bronze. Now that is a brown color that just helps to bring out the blue in my eyes. Now, I am, I have hooded eyes, so if I were to put it in the crease, you would actually not see it. When I open my eyes, it would disappear. So what do I do? I actually put the crease on there with my eyes open so that you can actually see. You can actually see the crease when I open my eyes. See, just like that, I made a new crease so that my eye doesn't look quite so hooded. Isn't that fun? It's super cool. And look, so blue. The brown helps the blue really come out. So I'm ex I love the brown. I love that brown. It's a beautiful brown. Let's see if I can get you a little closer to me without making a giant mess. There. That's a little better. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now, you guys, remember... Less is more, so you want to start slow because it's easier to put more on than it is to take some off if you end up too dark. So, just a little bit. That's all I do there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I love this burnished bronze. It's such a beautiful color. Look at that, so beautiful. One side went up a little higher than the other. I'm just fixing it. All right, so. Looks pretty even. Um, it looks pretty blended. I do usually, typically take my 
my brush that I used my lighter color on and just kind of blend it down just a little bit just to soften that line because you don't want this crazy line you want it to be blended you want it to look like it belongs there like it's part of your face um, a part of your eyelid you know so that it's not just this holy there's a there's a crazy line there um, now let's see what do I want to do next I do like to play with colors and I like to have options I like to have choices so I am going to take a little bit darker color. It is Merlot, and I'm going to put it right here in this little crease right here. Just kind of do this little V thing. Just helps, again, helps with dimension, helps to make my makeup look a little more planned. Just a little bit of a V there. And it's, again, just going to help open things up. Um, I'm also going to take a little bit of this golden color here put it right here in the middle this is also going to help with the blue on my eyes because that color oh my goodness helps to bring out the blue in my eyes like you wouldn't believe I don't know the name of this color off the top of my head so we'll have to look at it later um, and I did drop a brush bear with me All right. Goodness. Then the trick is to do some blending, right? You don't want that dark line to be just a crazy line in the middle of nowhere. So you just kind of blend it just a little. And that yellow, you want to kind of keep it right in the middle. Let's take a look and see what we think. I think that looks great. It's just a little, it's hard to see with that light. Just a little, see it? Just a little bit of definition on the outside corner. Because you always want the darkest to be on the outside and the lightest to be on the inside. At least that's how it is with my eyes. It looks much better that way. Um, next, what do we do? I think I'm going to move on to foundation because my naked face is just a little bit, uh, I have got some redness going on today. And uh, I definitely want to get rid of these dark circles. So, um, your eyes, when you're over... A certain age right we start to get a little creepy around your eye area um, sometimes when you smile and you do your your concealer the way that the 20 year olds do it with all their highlighting and stuff they do get a little bit of creases so I always do my eye makeup my eye cream I have a really good eye cream and I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna put it right under here and it's so important at our age again massaging gently like gentle right gently massage it in and you know what? If you have one of these wonderful things, it doesn't hurt to do this too. All right. Then we're going to take foundation primer. My foundation primer has a sunscreen in it that is super important for somebody with Casper-like skin like mine. Um, super, super light. My skin is so light, it's crazy. Um, I just take a small amount. I'm really just gonna heat it up for a second. I'm gonna pat it on where I know my, my um, biggest issues are, and then I'm gonna rub all over. Just rub, rub, rub. Oh. Rub, rub, rub. All right. Okay, Mary Kay has some fantastic foundations. We have 3D foundations that are full of vitamins. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, they're nice and creamy and long lasting. And what I'm going to do is get started. I'm gonna show you how I put on my foundation. All right, so this is Ivory 110 for anybody who needs to know and is as light as me. It is a wonderful, um, natural-looking foundation that isn't crazy. It isn't yellow. It matches my skin tone perfectly. And if you're having trouble matching your skin tone, you definitely need to contact your Mary Kay girl because they have. we have some brand-new foundations that are out that will totally transform your life. Um, in the past, the foundations that I've tried, because I am so light, 
they're either orange or yellow or I just couldn't get the right tone um, because I am very, very pale. I am very, very pale. And I have never had luck with foundations until these new 3Ds came out. They're amazing, transformative. I love them. They're so comfortable. They don't feel like there's a ton of makeup on my face. It does come in luminous and matte wear. And as you can see, makes a huge difference with just one little bit. Now, again, because I'm of a certain age, I love that about me. I have matte and luminous. And what I do is I use the luminous around my eyes because the luminous is going to keep it more moist. It's going to keep it from crinkling up when I smile. It just makes my makeup look so much better if I keep the luminous under my eyes. And I'm also going to use a little bit lighter shade in the center of my face because the highlighters that Mary Kay has are not really light enough to do my highlighting with. So, we improvise, right? So here's, oh, wrong one. So here's the luminous, and I pat it in, I get it real in there real good. Again, it's just a nice moisturized foundation so it doesn't settle in the crinkles. And here's my lighter shade to help with my highlighting. Because I have quite a bit of redness right here, I always use that lighter color. It's just a simple way to get some extra highlighting, right? Can you see that? You see how much? So it adds the moisture, keeps it from being all crinkly. All right, A, another thing that you can do with your eye area if you're having some extra trouble, like I'm having an extra, an extra good stress apparently this morning. Um, spray it with some finishing spray, your sponge, and tap that in right after you get your foundation on. Not always necessary, but there are some days that you know your eyes need a little more work than others. All right, now, translucent powder. I'm gonna take a nice, soft, fleshy, fluffy brush, and I'm gonna take my translucent powder, I'm gonna go across my eyebrows, because we're, we're gonna do eyebrows today, and my cheeks. Because I want my, my cheek color to blend very well, and right now my face is totally sticky, and we don't wanna wait for it to not be sticky, so I'm gonna Get it all in. Another thing that I do is I take my concealer. Again, Mary Kay has some amazing highlighters, you guys. H amazing highlighters. Here's one of them. Excuse my empty compact, but this is a highlighter. They're just not light enough for my skin. So I always um, highlight with some other things. So here is my concealer. I'm just gonna make a stripe there. I always, just to, again, brighten areas of your face. This here helps to make my face look a little thinner helps to bring out my cheekbones and it doesn't look unnatural because it's just a little bit of skin color again to just kind of brighten the area see just underneath where my cheek color is gonna go and it does help to brighten my face a little bit All right, and you can see, right? It doesn't look like I have 75 layers on. Like my face is still very, still very, very soft and very, like it's not heavy. I haven't, and I've done quite a few layers already. It's not ridiculously heavy. It's not too much. It's just the right amount. All right, I'm gonna finish my eyes right now. I did not bring my eyeliner. Bear with me, I'll be right back.
All right, I have my eyeliner. Um, Mary Kay has just come out with a brand new um, eyeliner pen, and it is waterproof, and it is amazing. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to try to try to hold it so you can see. Um, literally, find the bottom of your lid and just kind of press it on. Just kind of stamp it, that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm gonna turn this way and stamp it on the inside and then go back and I straighten out the line just to make sure I didn't go. Now with eyeliner, you want the thickest part to be on the outside. Um, and the other thing, you guys, if you're, you're looking to learn that wing thing, right? So to get the wing to look natural, what you want to do is follow the bottom, boy my light keeps changing, follow the bottom of your, it's supposed to follow the bottom of your eye, eye lid. So I find my pencil and I literally stamp it. That's it. That's where your wing goes. And then I go back and I trace it. I didn't stamp very well today, but that's okay. You understand what I mean. I do the bottom sometimes. It, that's again, based on the mood that I'm in. Today I'm gonna put just a little bit, just to show you. Whew. So there's my wing. It's not really ridiculously dark. I am real careful with uh, How dramatic my eyes are um, you can go as dramatic as you'd like I tend to stick on the side of less dramatic look at that look at the difference that my eyeliner made in just one eye look one eye looks so much bigger than the other it's crazy look what that does all right so I'm just gonna do the other side real quick Is easier. My right eye is much easier because I am definitely right handed. And this is not wanting to stamp over here. I think I. Oh, well, we're going to do mascara first and let that sit for a minute. Alright, so mascara. One of the first things you need to know is your mascara should be replaced every three months after being opened. After you've used it for the first time, it should be replaced in three months. And I actually am going to show you a primer. I use a Mary Kay lash primer. Conditions your lashes, makes it easier to take off your makeup, but it does prolong your makeup. Your mascara can keep it from flaking and falling, and I love it. Our primer is amazing. I've been using it for years and years. Um, lash intensity has two steps. There's short bristles and long bristles. Short bristles first, and then long bristles. And if you want to do multiple layers, you just keep doing the same thing. Short, long, short, long. And you actually can reapply. I'm having trouble seeing in my phone. You can actually reapply your primer once you're done if you would like. If you ever get those dry little flakes um, that fall down, first of all, it might be time to replace your mascara. Um, but if it's just, just something you struggle with all the time, um, you can put your primer on again after you get your uh, mascara on. Just another way to keep your lashes moisturized. Making funny faces, I'm sure. Yeah, I kind of made a mess there. 
back on and fix it. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And again, if you really want to, you can go back over it with your primer again. Um, I'm going to choose not to today because um, it's just an extra step that I'm not sure is necessary. This eyeliner pen can be a little tricky. So you saw that I was having trouble putting my, um, my wing in over there. It's because it's kind of like a Sharpie. Right? Like you have to put it upside down to get the liquid all down into the tip. So if you're having trouble with it, or if you have any trouble with it, tip it upside down for a little bit, just like I did. I just put it in my cup over here upside down for a minute, and now it's working just fine. Except I made my line a little thicker on this side than I did on the others, but that's okay. They're sisters, not twins, right? There we go. Just do a little bit on the bottom. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. The other thing that you can do is take a little bit of your dark eyeshadow and you can line the bottom lid a little bit there to kind of tie in your eye color. Um, I'll probably show you that here in a second me get the right brush and we'll, we'll show you that see just a little bit of eyeshadow down here and you can even go right over that that eyeliner or you can um, use it instead whatever you want to do just play around with it you know what and find out what you love and what works for you all right so that side has eyeliner we need mascara right right uh, again lash primer it's an amazing thing. It's going to help your lashes. Um, it's going to condition your lashes, help your makeup come off easier. And it just, I love it. I love it, love it. Like, I want to put it on even at bedtime before I go to bed without needing mascara, right? I just, I, I can't say enough about our primer. And here we go again. This is our Lash Intensity for anybody who knows the Mary Kay brand. Um, so again, do short first and then long and if you need multiple layers you just keep doing the same thing you switch back and forth actually a smoky eye um, common to put as much as seven layers of mascara on um, now I don't believe with our Mary Kay stuff that we actually need seven layers um, but Vavoom lashes, right? They would be totally vavoomed lashes. I'm gonna do at least one more. I think mine is coming down to the end, so it's not not getting as much mascara as I want. Have you ever used up a whole mascara? It's so fun, right? trick with my left eye is I sleep on that side so my lashes are a little um, different shaped on this side than they are on the other. You guys have a side that does that? I'd love to hear from you. A little bit over here. There. Alright, now what do we do next? We move on to cheeks and contouring and let's do a little bit of that all right so Mary Kay has some amazing highlighters bronzers were amazing right I am going to use a little bit darker cheek color today just so you can see it here's what I'm using today now I am really really light so keep in mind what I do is probably very different than what you do I'm actually gonna put just a little bit here and then a little bit towards my ear a little bit here and a little bit towards my ear. My light keeps changing. 
to figure out how to turn that off on my phone, right? You guys need to see me and what I'm actually doing. Can you see that? It's a lot, and it's okay. I did it dark so that you could see where I put it, and I actually went down too far with this side because I couldn't see. That's okay. Um, I can fix it. I'll show you how to fix it. Um, I'm actually going to put a bronzer on next, and with a bronzer, you want to be real. Well, it's, it's, a, it's not a bronzer. I'm sorry. It's a contour color. I'm going to put it right here. Can you see that? Right there. Okay, now that's what I normally do. One sheet color, my contour, because I, remember I did the highlighter on the bottom. And then, blend, 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 right? Take a nice, big, clean, fluffy brush. Sorry, I'm moving you all around. And blend. Blend, 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 blend. And if it's still too dark, find a color that matches your skin. Here, I'm going to put you down. I'm probably making you dizzy. Find a color that matches your skin and just use it to help you blend. Now, that is our Mary Kay pressed powder. I love our pressed powder. It's so soft. There. See, that's much better. Now, bronzer, right? Bronzer. We're going to take some bronzer. We have two great colors right now, limited edition. Get your hands on them. I'm going to put quite a bit, actually, on this brush for somebody who's as light as me. And I am going to bronze. I have a wide forehead, and it's big, and a round face that's pudgy, right? So we're going to bronze here and the tops of my cheeks. And that's actually not enough. I want a little more. So as pale as I am, I can I can contour very well because the contouring shows up just fine. It is the highlighter I have trouble with. <laughs> right. I do have to be careful because the bronzer, like you see, can be too dark if I'm not careful. So keep that in mind. You want to try to keep it nice and subtle. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. Ready? Just keep blending. Right? Just keep blending. Keep blending. And then again, you end up with too much. What do you do? You take your... your you take your skin color and you just go over it a little bit, right? I'm going to take my skin color. I'm going to go in the middle and make sure that's the brightest, right? Because you want that to be the brightest part of your face. And then I am going to go over it just a little because I did go a little crazy. Now let's move you. See? It brightens the middle of my face. Oh, your cheek color. I didn't mention that. Shouldn't go any closer to your nose than here. So if you end up with it too close, you can just do a little touch of your foundation. I'm going to do the lighter color. This is Ivory 100. Just to kind of cover it again. Because again, I'm just so pale. And you have to be real careful with these bronzers and stuff. All right, now to fix my eyebrows, right? I have no eyebrows, they're invisible, right? So I'm gonna show you one, I'm gonna do one. Show you what it looks like, ready? I'm really having trouble with this teeny tiny little mirror. So I'm gonna look over here for a second. Actually, I'll look down. I do just a line to kind of figure out where I want them. Some days you want them higher than others. Some days you, may, you might want them, I don't know. You might want them more, more defined than others. I don't know. Some days you're in a mood. So you know what? Do you. Don't be scared to play around. Because mine probably look different every time I do my makeup. All right. So this is a blonde brow pencil. This is a blonde brow pencil. It sharpens easily, it rubs off easily, it's beautiful, but it stays put once you get it on there and it's all dry. Look at that, look, big difference, huge difference. I have an eyebrow. 
We also do have a brow gel. Today I think I did a really great job. Oh, you know what, I'll just do a touch of this anyway. Some days I do both, some days I don't do the gel. I guess it really depends on my mood. I can tell you though, that it's important to do the powder on your eyebrows first, because if you have trouble with your brow pencil staying, a lot of times it's because um, your skin, the moisturizer all over your face, right? So it just, it, it'll fade throughout the day if you don't use the powder first. Huge deal, huge thing, huge thing. You can also use the, um, the finishing powder over it. If Again, if you have really have a hard time with your stuff staying, um, I don't, so I'm gonna just leave it. I am gonna get to the other side, so do again, kind of make the line, follow your natural brow is normally what I do, and uh, then go back in and just kind of fill it. Fill it, fill it, fill it. Sorry if you can see, hear my son in the background. He's uh, home on this quarantine right now. If anybody's watching this at a later time, um, we're going through this coronavirus stuff right now. There. There, look at that. It's perfect. One of my eyebrows is a little different than the other, and you know what, you guys? They're sisters, not twins. You're never going to get them exactly the same, so just accept that, and it'll be okay. And I do have to scrape off most of the gel on here, because if I don't, it's too dark. I really think I need to open a blonde, and I'm just refusing. I've got the brunette open right now. There. And I'm going to check it. Yep. Good job. And I usually end up going back over it just to make sure with my foundation because sometimes it's up too high or smeared. Look at that. That light is not the best. I have eyebrows. Aren't they nice? My contouring is still probably a little dark. I think it's just these lights, you guys. <laughs> Let's try this window. Maybe that'll help a little. Get me a little more light. I do like a little. I don't know, it's a lot right now. That's okay. Let's see. What's next? We did eyebrows. We did contouring. We did. Uh, I think we're back to lips. I think we're done. I have a really bright. Two Dimensions Firecracker. It's one of my favorites. Now, if you do your lips real bright, you want to keep your eyes a little neutral. If you want to do your eyes real bright, you want to keep your lips a little neutral. So either way, um, enjoy, have some fun, and I promise you, it, it looks kind of, I don't know, my eyebrows look really dark today, and I don't normally go that dark, so let's see if we can... Calm that down just a little. Because I'm feeling a little clownish. That's okay. Yay! In the mirror, it's not as bright as it is on this camera. This camera is not the best. All right. So, my face is on. I'm going to send you a after picture, a before picture. We'll show them on the thing here. If you want to contact me. I will include my link. Look at that, I can smile and I'm not full of crinkles. I love it. Um, if you need to know specifically what some of the products were, reach out to me, I'm happy to help. Um, oh my gosh, in the middle of this epidemic, you guys, have some fun. You know what, take the time to play with your makeup, treat yourself. Oh, I did forget one thing, our finishing spray. And if you have places where your makeup really doesn't like to stay, make sure you tap it in real, real good. Oh, just feels so good. I love it. All right. Well, I hope everybody has an amazing day. Keep, keep, keep uplifting. You know what? Reach out to everybody in your community. Find somebody that needs some help. The best thing you can do right now is to reach out to somebody and lend a helping hand. Even if it's just dropping off a delivery to somebody who can't leave the house or do a go live, do a video chat, reach out to somebody who's stuck at home that could really use a smiling face right now. I hope you have an amazing day and thanks so much for watching.